everyone. I'll call the meeting in order of the Office of the County Commissioners. Uh, first, we have new business, resolution 2023-1, chair and chairman pro tem designation. You ready for that? Ready. Um, seeking approval of the very first resolution of the year. That's pretty exciting. Um, that would name Commissioner Oquist as chair. And in absence of Commissioner Oquist, uh, Commissioner Tim Nabaju would serve as pro tem. Effective today, immediately. Good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll make a, a motion to um, accept resolution 2023 01, uh, making the chairman and pro or chairman pro tem designation. Perfect. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay. I'll just return and get signatures at the end of your there order. Yep, yeah, cool. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, public comment. Do we have anyone wants to make a comment? Nope, so we'll go on. Kathy's not here. She's not. So, if she comes in later, can we move her down on the agenda? Sure, okay. that would be fine. She was here earlier, I know, but I'm not sure what happened. Okay. Okay, the consent agenda. Approval of minutes and approval of bills and payroll. You're good. Okay, so I'll make a motion to approve the consent, consent agenda. And I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay, motion passes. Uh, there's no old business, so we go to new business. Ambulance permits, Lahana Rural Fire District. Yes, um, another approval I'm seeking is for the Lahana Rural Fire, Di Fire District for four advanced life support uh, ambulances. Looked over their application and everything looks great. Okay. Need a motion. I will make a motion to approve the ambulance permits for Lahana Rural Fire. And I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. Okay, Lynn, uh, liquor license request for the beer joint. Yes, we have a liquor license application for the beer joint. This is a renewal. Everything looked good. Um, they paid all their fees and no, the letter from the sheriff was good, so I'm going to say we're good to go if you will approve it. Okay. I will make a motion to approve uh, the liquor license for the beer joint. And I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Lynn Creekside Smokehouse liquor license. Okay, and then I also have a renewal for the Creek House Creekside Smokehouse for their liquor license and everything on theirs was good also. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve the liquor license for Creekside Smokehouse. And I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Okay, grant ap application for the history of Colorado. Amy? Sure. Um, so I've got a great teammate here today, Tammy Ragnauer, representing the Otero County Historic Preservation Advisory Board, um, to announce a really cool project. She gets to do the fun stuff and tell you the great project. What I'm going to do is ask for approval of a grant application with the History of Colorado through the Certified Local Government uh, Subgrant Application. Program. How many times can I say program in a sentence? Four? Five? Um, the total for this project is coming in at a budget of $77,918.39. The coolest part, besides the project in whole, is uh, that board will be putting in-kind uh, work equaling $63,750. Um, so the request for this grant is $14,168.39. And 39 cents. Did I go fast enough? 39 cents? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, Amy, you said 1416839. You yep. did it. Got it. You're listening good. Uh, I did review the application and all the attachments. It's got a significant number of letters of support from educators and people of the community <coughs> um, that I can't imagine that this wouldn't be approved. So I'd like to pass it on to Tammy if I can. Yeah. 
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi, Tim. How are you guys? Good. Good, good. I'm great. Um, so this proposed po um, project is coming from the Otero County um, Preservation Group, and they do a lot of um, a lot of work that's on the ground, as you guys know, boots to the ground and, and buildings. And I came on to this group uh, probably about five months ago, and in talking with uh, Rebecca Goodwin, there was a project she'd seen at the national level where Decatur, Arkansas had taken um, some time and uh, a lot of energy and created this uh, student handbook on historical sites. And I was like, oh, we can do that. Um, we, we can do that. And so really, this project is um, going to create a consumable workbook. Uh, consumable is a workbook in um, the educational world. And it will be at the third grade level, because in Colorado, third grade is where a lot of your local and state history gets a chance to be introduced and taught. And so the goal of the board is to help preserve and document locations for future generations. Um, and secondly, we hope to help um, instruct students on what history, historical preservation is all about and how they can um, be instrumental in that even as third graders and on into their adult life. This consumable book is going to be about 40 to 50 pages long and we plan to use six or seven sites per town. So Fowler, Manzanola, Rocky Ford, Swink, La Junta, Shraw, Kidby, and Tempest will all be included in um, our book and we've spent some time right now we kind of uh, Darren is also on the same committee and we've been out looking and taking pictures and we, we've got a base to start with but it is by no means set in stone that those will be the sites we're going to use um, the front and back covers so we're going to put out spring of 2023 so coming up a competition between seventh through 12th graders um, in the art departments in any of those towns and have them submit some um, designs for the cover. And we hope to uh, highlight two local artists for the covers of the, um, this book. The pages of this book will contain, um, obviously, photographs. Um, it could also have diagrams. We have some local artists that are going to like the dry, which is outside Manzanola, there are no physical structures left of that. So that's all stories, um, first-hand accounts, and we're hoping that our artists can create um, coloring pages. Not necessarily, you know, I hate to call it that, but that's the easiest way to explain it. Um, in Higby Valley, there are no structures really left standing out there, and so we hope to have some artistic renderings of that area to help um, students understand uh, what happened in that location. Um, there will be uh, historical information around architecture and key individuals that helped develop each of the previously mentioned communities. And around this information, key questions, activities will be embedded to help students um, build a better understanding of the topics being introduced. Uh, the companion manual or teacher's resource will be tied to the Colorado third grade standards and dis disciplines being introduced would be reading, writing, communicating, history, geography, economics, and civics. And we're going to care hopefully carefully embed essential instructional strat strategies in the educational wor world we call those best practices um, to help the teacher utilize this uh, workbook to the best of its uh, ability. Um, obviously, you guys know that Jill Manley, Ed Stafford, Darren Garcia, LaDonna Hutt, and Becky Goodwin, and myself, we're going to be doing the legwork. I know that uh, Amy talked about our in-kind service, so we've already been on the ground. I mean, we've got mileage, um, photography, Ed Stafford's already editing, and uh, rewriting some things that we've started with. The timeline is spring of 2023. We're going to uh, obviously start with the 7 through 12 um, art competition for the pages. And then research and layout of the pages will um, start once we get um, really on the ground in, in the spring of 23. Fall of 2024, proofing and printing of the books. 
and the spring of 2025 distributions of the books to each school district. And we also are going to include homeschool children in, in that uh, group. Finally, um, so the, you know, my, my passion is history. That's what I taught. And um, researching local history connects meaningful learning opportunities for all students. Using multiple methods, students can uncover the history of their community and identify people and places of local historical interest while also learning the importance of historic preservation. We want to help students understand that what they are growing up around with has value not only to themselves but to the world. So there we are in a nutshell. Any questions? What a wonderful thing, yeah. Tammy. This is just... This is amazing. Wish it would have been done a long time ago. Yeah. Because it's, you know, there's so many things that people don't realize that are just around here that most people have never heard of. Yeah, uh, I mean, you just think Santa Fe Trail. I mean, there's just a lot of, um, and, the, and the book will start with the Native American area um, and peoples in the Santa Fe Trail and work its way forward. Oh, cool. so, Thank you for doing this. Yes, yeah, we're, we're really excited. Don't run off yet. Okay. So <laughs> I, I have questions and then comments. So mm -hmm. the question would be, um, and this may be too early to tell, but is this something that maybe down the road we update or change mm -hmm. and add or subtract mm -hmm. uh, in, in those types? Is that something that's already been considered? So or it's, hey, let's get this done first and then we'll progress from there. Y you kind of answered your question a little okay. bit. So yes, we have discussed it. Um, not totally as the group, but um, Rebecca and I um, have discussed that maybe, because this is third grade, mm -hmm. and um, we'll be very cognizant of the materials we put into the book so that they, they meet that need. But, you know, middle school and high school, I think there's a place. And so, yes, there is a possibility of a second edition um, to this. And... Um, we want to just get, because everything we've seen has not had a teacher's manual, so it's going to take some time to develop. Um, but uh, our plan is to get a, at least a thousand copies, and Darren, you're going to have to help me. Were we 300 third graders? Yeah, we're about 3, 325 total third graders in the In, in Ontario, Ontario County. County, so we're, we're hoping to get a, a thousand um, books printed the first round so that we it's not a one and done right that that's, this is that was my yes point. that this is we're hoping that this is a good enough resource that um third grade teachers can just you know pull it out and that is the history and you do it just a little addition with your colorado state facts and history to this and, and you said it's uh, how many pages 40 or 50. We, okay it just depends on um <coughs> what um, additional pages. I mean, you could do Venn diagrams, which you draw and, and you have them compare and contrast. So there are a lot of educational pages that can be embedded into that um, that help with the learning of the activity. So we've got a, a 10 page kind of uh, lead way in there that, to help with the development of the edu educational practices. Right. Okay. That covers my questions, not my comment. Mm -hmm. Like Rob, I think this is a great, great endeavor. Um, I believe that history is what makes us for the future, right? And you've already made comments that Higby Valley, there's no standing and yeah. uh, the dry in Manzanola, there's not, so we're already losing some of that history. And so in order to keep it going for future generations, this is a great way to do it. And I, I applaud you and I applaud all of you on the committee for, for doing this endeavor and just making sure that we keep the right things in there and not, things that don't belong in there to our third graders. Yeah, so, yeah. perfect. Thank cool. you. Thank you. Thank you. I had a quick question. Is, yes. Are there going to be any like physical monuments or markers that might go along with some of the, I don't know, it might be kind of a good thing to go along with. So when you talk about a physical monument, are or markers just for the location? Oh, like the, well, that does bring up a good point. Thank you. Um, so a lot of these sites are privately owned and so then you have to be super careful okay. um, first of all before anything can be published or um, anything we've got to have written approval from every landowner um, and when I think about so there is a Santa Fe Trail marker that sits 
on our family's ranch. Mm -hmm. You know, would we do things? Is that what you're asking? Would yeah, we like, add would there something? maybe be some kind of that way? There'd be a actual tangible connection with the book. We have talked. I know it wouldn't was, have to be expensive. It could just be a small. We have rock. talked about this um, quite a bit when Amy was at one of our meetings, and and maybe could these kids visit that site and mm -hmm. and how do you, do you make it a scavenger hunt of some sort? We've talked about it. There's nothing in stone yet. Uh, no pun intended mm -hmm. on that, <laughs> but. Um, we would like that is something that could maybe go on with that second edition if we wanted to um, mm. add to that third grade is okay let's let's visit that i would love for each um like kids in lahunta do a walking tour mm -hmm. to those sites and be able to to physically see it or if you're in rocky ford or fowl or i don't know it you know we're gonna put those suggestions in the teacher resource and see where we can go from there and it would just depend on with the landowners if they would allow you yeah i know when i was when i was young i got lucky enough to go down and go on the bowden trail and see the paintings in the canyons yeah. and you can't you can't go anymore but when we were kids they allowed us to go down there and then i think a few things happened so they said mm, no and that's no the, that's that is the thing that not everybody you know, and hopefully we can help develop that saving history mm -hmm. right. from a young right. age. Mm -hmm. But just like San, uh, San Joseville, which is down in Higby, the right. Simmons family still has structures that were part of that town, but do they want everybody driving up that road? Right. I don't know. Yeah. So we'll, we'll have to be very upfront with the <coughs> landowners, and we will not include addresses in the first run. Um, books by any means. Like, if I'm not mistaken, the marker for the Rocky Ford crossing is not at the actual site. Not. So, if you, I mean, if you could do something towards in the vicinity and you can pull over and read about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, that's, like. you know, I know the group has done some work with um, traveling around from here to Kim and back 350 on the radio so mm -hmm. yeah you never know yeah. that was a good plug for the podcast yeah right there you go I think you can um, access that on the Otero County website uh, there are placards if some of these places are listed on the registry though right so mm -hmm. maybe <laughs> yeah yeah it gives it we've got a lot of a lot of ways to, to maybe branch yeah. out all right, John. Thank you. Thank you, Tammy. So this motion would include two, um, if you don't mind, if you okay. approve. Uh, it would be for the grant application. And then second is a letter of support from the commissioners for the project as well. Okay. So you want me just to include them all in the same way? Yes, you yeah. can. Okay, yes, so I'll make you. a motion to approve the grant application, and that's the 14,168.39. Yes, sir. And then also a motion to approve the letter of support from the commissioners. Okay, and I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay, motion passes. Thank you, Tammy. Mm -hmm. This yes, is a wonderful you. project. Agreed. I am so excited already. It's, yeah. This is going to be great. If there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Will do. <laughs> can you draw? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Stick figures. Stick figures. Stick figures. Stick figures. Stick figures. Yeah, I got. put clothes on stick figures. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> naked. Stick figures. Oh, good to know. We're in trouble. Did you say it was going to be compiled by students or in conjunction with the teachers? Or no, it right? will be all of the history pres or the um, Otero County Preservation Board will do all okay. the writing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we'll go on. JUB engineering contract. You bet. Let's continue on our walk through history in here. Mm -hmm. right. um, JUB is an engineering company that we've been working with for probably a year and a half, maybe longer. They're going to assist us with the trail uh, that we hope can connect folks from Highway 50 and have a walking bridge over to Bent's Fort. So uh, we have talked about them in the past, and you've actually uh, signed a contract in the past, but once we received notice that the national parks wanted to join in, they have a whole division to help with this. So we changed the scope of practice um, for this for JUB Engineering. Thankfully, they hadn't started yet. Um, so we just wanted to start fresh with them. Uh, another neat thing about this is it will be funded by a grant that was awarded to Otero County from the Colorado Parks and Wildlife quite a while ago. 
and also we'll be using funds from the Conservation Trust Fund, which is lottery money. The total for this contract is $56,250. I've reviewed it, um, our legal team's reviewed it, and I don't see any issues. Okay, we need a motion. I will make a motion that we approve the contract for JUB engineering uh, for $56,250. And I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, ratify secure transport permits. Sure. Um, so I'd like permission to ratify uh, actually a license, I should have said that, license and permits for Southeast Mental Health Services. Uh, there was a bill that passed last year that required folks that provide transportation for behavioral issues uh, be licensed and permitted by each county. So uh, we got that put together rather quickly and was able to issue permits and a license to them for six of their vehicles to safely transport. They've been doing this in the past. It's not a new program. It's just now they need to retain the license and permit. The reason why I'm asking for it to be ratified is we needed to get it done rather quickly, and so it is predated. Okay. We need a motion. I will make a comment first. Thank you okay. for all your work on that. You bet. For okay. going extra mile for us. So okay. now uh, I will make a motion to ratify this year transfer permit and license. And I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Resolution. 2023-02 authorization of depositories. Sorry, my teenage brain with depositories. I, just, okay. I um, almost said it too. <laughs> I, I know. It Anything almost else? came out. Right? Oh, no. Yeah, okay. Back to professionalism. All right. <laughs> Resolution 2 for 2023 lists all of the depositories for Otero County and there is an error on this resolution. So I'd like your permission to change the first whereas to for year ending 2023. And then I'll have you ready for signature. Um, this list remained the same with an addition of the Bank of Oklahoma. Uh, Bank of Oklahoma is our trustee for the certificates of participation that's funding the detention center development. So Amy, do I need to make a motion for the change? Yes, I would make a motion uh, to allow the change and also approve the resolution after the change. Okay. Thank so, you. So, yes, I will make a uh, motion to approve resolution 2023-02 with the change of the fiscal year to 2023 um, after we approve it. I will second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Resolution 2023-03, Appointments and Actions. Uh, the third resolution for the year will be the appointments of key figures in the county that need to be appointed each year, as well as board assignments and representation. Uh, right after uh, Commissioner Nabanju was sworn in, we sat down as a team and, and divvied up this list, so there will be some changes to some committees and others will remain the same, but we will notify all of those boards of which uh, person is representing the county. Um, nothing too glaring. As far as designations, um, we are going to do all of our prints with Rocky Ford Daily Gazette this year. Office hours remain the same for uh, the offices at the courthouse and also at the annexes. Meeting times for human services, land use, and this meeting remain the same as well. Okay. okay. I will make a motion to approve resolution 2023-03 of appointments and representation and designations. I will second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Resolution 2023-04. District Attorney Memorandum of Understanding. Okay, last one for this meeting, number four. Um, each year, the commissioners from all three counties, Bent, Crowley, and Otero, meet with the district attorney to understand their needs for their budget. Um, and each year, 
you allocate money towards them to pay for their staff expenses as well as their visit business building expenses uh, the DA is paid by the state but everything else is paid by the counties so uh, we sit down and do that this resolution um, provides authorization to sign the MOU okay good yes. I will make a motion to approve resolution 2023-04 of the district attorney MOU and I will second it all in favor Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Okay, weed spraying bid. Darren Garcia. Come on down. Pretty lucky. You yeah. <laughs> saved the best for last on that agenda, didn't there you? There you go. Commissioner Malmish, you're lucky. I don't have to read them all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, we, we, we Thank you. change on our bid process. So. Um, it's that time of year uh, to do our weed bid contract. Um, we only had one bid that come in um, on January 3rd. That's with Southeast Colorado Weed Management. Uh, Dan Mum. Um, he's done our weed spraying probably for the past 20 years. Um, I do send it out to another contract, so it was sent out to three contractors. Uh, this year, um, it's down by $232. It's lower. Mm -hmm. It's lower. Right. So we've done good. So um, our total amount of weed spraying for bare ground and also broadleaf is $21,983.50. And I would recommend or ask for the officials to sign a contract with uh, Dan Mom as Southeast Colorado Weed Management. Ready? Need a motion. I will make a motion that we approve the contract with Southeast Colorado Weed Management for $21,983.50. And I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Opposed? Thank you. Thank you. Motion carries. Thanks, Darren. I cut it down for a few minutes. Thank you. Okay. You should have introduced all these resolutions. So there you go. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> okay, Amy, sales tax report. Yeah. Amy, I love the sales tax. It's related to shopping. Um, we're going to look at October 2022 sales tax. We collected here in Otero County was $228,497.60. That's $11,854 more than October last year, and a 5.47% increase as compared to October of last year. Which means cumulatively, as we compare last year and this year, we're a positive, finally, of 1.44%. We had a few negatives that we needed to overcome, and we did. The budget for 2022 was $2.3 million dollars. Um, in sales tax revenue and currently we're at 2.1 so in two more months to collect so I think we're doing well and we'll meet that budget second page is the the graph of the collection there that just shows the trends uh, the yellow is 2022 the black is uh, the budget annualized so we're above budget uh, all year except for the month of January which was fine and we're trending back to how we used to be before we had a few jumps there with COVID and with web sales. Any questions? Mm -hmm. okay. Told him on Thursday the UPS man came to my <laughs> house and he says, I thought after Christmas your packages would slow down, but I think they've gotten worse than before Christmas. So Christmas sales. <laughs> yes, Christmas my sales. wife loves to <clears throat> shop. <laughs> Okay. We don't need to make a motion. No, it's just a report. Thank yep. you. Okay. Commissioner's report. Yeah, Lynn, yeah. Lynn, do you have anything? No, everything's good in our office. Good. Good. Uh, Amy? I don't have anything else to add. Okay. Thank you. Me? Yeah. I guess first week in office. Yeah. So no, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Learning, learning lots, uh, attending meetings and uh, getting committee assignments. So uh, yeah, next week I'll be at conference to learn all the new stuff from new commissioners up in Denver. So hopefully I'll learn a lot there and bring it back and get to work. Yeah. That's all I got. Okay. Where's Jim? He's on vacation this week. Okay. So. And with me, I haven't had with the Christmas break and the New Year break, most everybody's, the meetings that we had were canceled for the month of December, so we haven't had many, but we've started on the, the jail, so 
we've had two meetings so far with the contracting people and so and the architects so that's going along real well that's pretty much what we've done the last couple of weeks is start looking at it so no timetable yet though no timetable yeah okay any announcements I don't think so I think we're good to go okay not I need a motion to adjourn I make a motion we adjourn I'll second it oh. Betty has a question. Oh, Betty. Betty. Sorry. Yes, Betty. I am so sorry. I was like, can no. I get a picture of Tim getting sworn in or a handshake or anything? Or was it done up in the courtroom? Well, it, we did it. We yeah. did it a week ago. We did it last Monday. I got sworn in. Or Tuesday. It's last Tuesday. Tuesday. Sorry. Last yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday morning. Yeah. <laughs> but I can shake Rob's hand, hand for I sure. Know about, oh, I know why I was out of town. Oh, there you go. Yeah. What about uh, a photo op with Commissioner Oquist welcoming him to the team? That's okay. Right. Perfect. Perfect. That right. would be okay. We'll we figure it out. Part. Bye, we Anne. Thank that. you. Bye, Drive Anne. Safe. Drive careful. We can design these